everyone and welcome to this episode of What on Earth Am I Making, also known as Nailed It or Failed It. Today on this channel we will be making, you read that right, double chocolate avocado cookies or as like my sidekick likes to call them, guacamole cookies. So are you excited to try them? Nope. <laughs> um, this is a request of my sister. She was wondering about avocado brownies so I'm kind of just gonna make a little littler version the cookies just because I'm I'm kind of scared of these so this recipe calls for one avocado one egg three tablespoons of honey I used Etruvia it's a sweetener half sweetener half honey blend um, peanut butter and you're going to need a half cup peanut butter and a half of a cup of chocolate, oh, excuse me, a fourth a cup of chocolate chips, half a cup of cocoa powder, and I'm not going to lie, um, apparently I grabbed special dark, so now I'm even more scared to try these, and then vanilla. So um, in the beginning, all you need to do is um, cream the avocado and the honey, then once that's creamed, you're going to add the egg and the vanilla then you slowly add your cocoa and your peanut butter so I'm gonna get all that mixed up and I'll be right back okay I have uh, finished blending I'm about to add my chocolate chips it did say in the directions that um, add the cocoa about two tablespoons at a time which is actually a really good suggestion because I definitely didn't use all the cocoa it called for a half cup I still have about an eighth of a cup left. So anyway, the consistency is supposed to be like peanut butter. And it smells better than it did for a little bit. I was getting a little nervous because it was smelling like an avocado. And I was beginning to wonder if Mia was right and it was going to be guacamole cookies. But it's smelling more like brownies now. It looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and dollop them up and make cookies. Just one second. I'm not gonna lie, these look terrifying. They look like little charcoal patties, but they go in the oven for um, at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll see uh, if it looks just as appetizing when it comes out. Um, they are gluten-free and Paleo. I don't know if I'm butchering that, but that's why these are healthy. But we'll see once they pop out. Okay, the product is finished. All I'm going to say is... It smells good, but the proof's in the pudding. Same, right? Doesn't look the same. I've recruited some folks to uh, help us try the guacamole cookies. So... Hot. Hold on, watch out, Mia. Are they good? Actually, pretty good. Really? I'll give you I'll give you an A plus on this one. Really? Yep. Chocolatey, got a little avocado, but you don't really taste it. What do you think? No, please. <laughs> All right. I haven't even tried it yet, so. Whoo! -hoo, hot. So I said. It's actually really good. It's right off. And I'm surprised because I don't know if I want to admit this to my husband, but the, with the special dark cocoa, I was scared that it was going to be really bitter. It actually tastes a lot like brownies. What do you think? I agree. And he hates anything, anything healthy. So he always asks me why I'm making vegan. I don't hate anything healthy. He's He's on camera, so he's being polite. Anyway, Everything I think... Everything healthy comes from a cow and potatoes. So basically nothing I make. Yeah. Anyway, um, Mia, do you have anything for them? Subscribe to your channel. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> um, that's her way of saying she's not eating any more of these. But I liked them. Justin liked them. So I think it's a big old nailed it. See you guys later. Subscribe, please.